Hello, this is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our May 23rd Palmer City Council meeting. So for that meeting, we have three proclamations, one recognizing the Matsu Miners, another recognizing Memorial Day, and another recognizing Matanuska Valley Credit Union, 75 years of service to our community. And then we have one presentation. It's kind of our big one we have every, well, we haven't had in some years, but uh, Carla Swick with the Saroma Sister City School Delegation will be bringing their delegations to come and say hi to us, probably in Japanese. And that, that's both a, a high school delegation and a middle school delegation will be, the, be there for our, the presentation. Um, for our agenda, we've also got three public hearings. Um, there's one that's funding to purchase a new wheel loader to replace our existing 1999 wheel loader. Another resolution is for uh, advanced funding of the gen from the general fund to the water sewer fund, uh, having to do with the reservoir for insulation repairs. And then there's another uh, public hearing for resolution, which is a pass-through grant from Alaska Department of Health through the city to Daybreak Inc. Um, the council will be considering that. Uh, Daybreak wants to spearhead a pilot project to improve health outcomes for under, underserved Palmer residents, specifically targeting those struggling with homelessness, mental health, and substance abuse disorders. And uh, there's information in the packet about that for those that are interested. And there's also eight action memoranda with topics ranging from Arctic Winter Games, 2024, and the Zamboni and curb painting and utility connections and construction administration and golf carts. And with all this business that we have uh, on the agenda, I decided to uh, take a break from the MVP, MPO discussion that we've had, I believe, two public hearings so far. We're going to have another public hearing at our June 13th meeting, and we're also hoping to have a committee of a whole discussion, but also have someone come from, uh, well, see if we can get someone to zoom in maybe from Fairbanks where they've had an MPO going for a few years and maybe let us ask some questions about how that works and how that goes. But in the meantime, if you're still um, interested or concerned about it, in my marriage report, I left quite a few um, hyperlinks to some websites with more documentation for people to read up on it. And uh, I know that this is, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a big deal. It's a bit of change and change can feel different um, maybe even uncomfortable at times. And so I want to make sure people have a chance to kind of look at this and consider it well. And then also my report, I did some, just some bullet items. We had a few people have mentioned things about the, uh, well, I'm going to call it the Rabarchek pit uh, over there by the fairgrounds. And that's, it's essentially a, uh, uh, let's see, what is the term? It's, it's an in inert waste monofill which is, uh, it's got conditional use permit, et cetera, for it. And uh, anyway, I, I gave a few points about that and just to let the council know a little bit of the history. And then if they have questions, we may uh, have staff give us a kind of a more up-to-date report on that. For upcoming meetings and events, a reminder that uh, Memorial Day is May 29th. And I believe there's a ceremony over in Wasilla and our deputy mayor will be attending that for me as I'll be on vacation. Also over the Memorial Day weekend is the 49th State 2023 Extreme Bronx out of the fairgrounds here in Palmer. So the Rodeo Alaska will be presenting that. Uh, also June 9th to 11th is Colony Days in downtown Palmer, including the Colony Days Parade on Saturday, June 10th at 11 a.m. in downtown Palmer. And this year's theme is Celebrating Summer. And then later in June, the Alaska Scottish Highland Games will be at the Alaska State Fairgrounds, Saturday, June 24th, and Sunday, June 25th, 2023. This week, I was making my video from within what I've been calling the Arctic Green Library, the new library that we have for temporary services. But we have... Uh, on the ground floor, there's a kids area, not large, but there's a, a good rocking chair for a parent to uh, read to some kids. And then uh, down the hall, we have a general circulation area. There's some 
there there's some computer setup in here and some circulation and there is still also at least some DVDs available some choices and then uh, you may notice that there's extra room on the shelves we still have a lot of books in kind of uh, another site in cold storage so as people request books that are not available in our temp library we can be moving them back over and putting them on the shelves there so what's intentional that we have some space for that to happen for those that are brave you can take the stairs and upstairs is a study room uh, there's some study carols there's some windows for light and there's a couple more uh, public access computers upstairs and then there's also the Alaskan room but we should be having Tuesday, the 23rd, when we have our council meeting, that during that day, about noon, I believe we're going to do a ribbon cutting. And this is at the Arctic Green location on Arctic Street across from Napa um, in the Green Building. We'll be opening our temporary library as our other one is still damaged. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our May 23rd Palmer City Council meeting.